very good afternoon to all of you the paper which i am going to discuss today is clinical pathological profile management and outcomes in uh, recurrent cases or cases of ocular surface squamous neoplasia at a tertiary care center so ossn is a common neoplasm of ocular surface with significant uh, morbidity recurrence is a problem whatever is the treatment modality and the uh, treatment in this case is difficult and the challenges posed by this uh, lesions need to be unraveled however there are very few studies which have analyzed the outcomes in these cases and this uh, study was conducted to assess the clinical pathological profile and outcomes in recurrent cases of ossn it was done in army hospital research and referral it was a prospective cohort study done for 18 months uh, recurrent cases of ossn were included in the study group and recently diagnosed cases of ossn were excluded 18 patients were recruited and detailed history was taken and comprehensive eye evaluation was done histopathological examination was done where the biopsy was performed and systemic evaluation was done which included the uh, examination of lymph nodes uh, in our center we formulated our treatment protocol depending upon the extent of the lesion and the based on results of already published studies like in small lesion we performed wide excision with cryotherapy in medium lesion we started interferon and in uh, patient with the orbital uh, spread we performed excentration the primary outcome measure was complete response to the treatment uh, with uh, no evidence of recurrence after 12 months and secondary outcome measure was complication associated with each treatment modality the mean age of the study uh, population was 64 years uh, they were 15 male and 3 uh, female patient uh, most of the patient had unilateral presentation the right eye was involved in 14 patient and left eye in 4 the common site which was found involved was nasal quadrant and the common size of the tumor was less than 5 mm a uh, common tissue which were found involved were limbus and conjunctiva the common clinical presentation was papilliform uh, mass and the most of the patient had vision from 6 by 6 to 6 by 12 common associations which were noticed were smoking hiv hbs hg and xeroderma pigmentosa Uh, as per agcc classification 11 patients had t1 grade uh, 6 patient had t2 and uh, one patient had t4 grade uh, squamous cell carcinoma in c2 was found in three patient and invasive type in 11 patients in two patient positive margin was found for that uh, adjuvant chemotherapy was started uh, we performed uh, biopsy in 11 patients and uh, in six patient we started interferon and in one patient the excentration was done so uh, in patient where uh, biopsy was performed complete response was seen where is uh, in cases where we started interferon uh, response was noticed in four patient and incomplete means the tumor uh, size uh, got reduced but it didn't disappear completely so this is a clinical photograph of a patient who has undergone excision with a complete recovery uh, this is a photograph of a patient in which we started interferon and shown a complete regression of the tumor this is a uh, uh, case which had a orbital uh, spread at the time of presentation and excentration was performed so the current study demonstrated that the mean interval between the initial intervention and the uh, tumor recurrence was 7 months uh, this is in conformity with uh, kyre et al which also confirmed the uh, similar finding the main cause of recurrence in the current study was in the incorrect diagnosis and the patients were not followed up at the initial center common pathological grade which was found in the study group was invasive type which was in uh, uh, concordance with meza et al which also reported invasive type and uh, whereas lee and lao et al uh, reported scc type of uh, carcinoma in the study population the treatment with different uh, modalities achieved a good uh, outcome in all cases with no sign of recurrence over a period of uh, 12 months uh, sturge and palmer et al also reported the nil recurrence in the study group so uh, this is the first study know, which has analyzed the outcome in recurrent cases of ossn we did not find any sign of recurrence after 12 months of follow up and the common cause of recurrence was found to be the misdiagnosis of the lesion so the study has laid down certain guidelines for carrying out the research on a recurrent cases in a larger population the limitation was saw a small sample size and short follow up so recurrent is a frequent challenge in the management of ossn even in recurrent ossn if the uh, various factors are not taken care of risk is very high timely diagnosis and adopting appropriate treatment strategy is of paramount importance to alleviate the recurrence rate in this uh, disease entity thank you how common do you see these cases uh, ma'am uh, our is a uh, tertiary care referral center so uh, we do get lot of cases like Uh, from the northern and the western part of the india okay okay any questions from the panel 
How do you diagnose recurrence in such cases where the treatment is incomplete or wrongly diagnosed? It could be, it may not be recurrence, it may be the primary tumor which has not been treated. Like in our setup, like uh, I have told you, all were the referral patients. So they came with the proper notes. It was done, the, some intervention was done somewhere else. And uh, then they, di they didn't go to that previous uh, center where it was treated. And then you said it was misdiagnosis, isn't it? Yeah. Because they performed like all the uh, like plain simple biopsy was done means excision was performed in all the cases. So that's not recurrence. That's like incomplete treatment. Yeah, means you can say like it was not like normally in case of OSSN we take four mm of conjunctiva and then mm -hmm. we excise it. So that was not done. Okay. Thinking that it's okay. pterygium or actinic keratosis. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Thank you. Good.